And I'm going to do a wonderful little mountain scene using purple and green and orange. And you're thinking like, are you nuts? Just put it back in your mouth before you say something. All right, so this is one of my favorite exercises. So I'm going to take pure orange, straight out of the tube orange, and I am going to paint some mountains. I have to be very, very careful when I do this. That What's that? The top side of the page? Oh, no, I mean, mountains, we can have lots of sky, right? Why do, they, why do the mountains have to go right up into the, to the top of it, right? Just stay with the tour. Just stay with the tour. We're not responsible for you if you get lost. Okay. So I want to make sure that these kind of look and feel like mountains. Right? So I've got just a big orange shape. Does that look? Does it look and feel a little bit like mountains? Well, how do you know? Right? The outer edge. It's not the inside, is it? So you know what's taken? I, I think I'm completely out of my ultramarine violet. And you can use whatever colors you want, but I'm just going to use secondary. I'm going for a secondary color triad if you want to get academic about this. Please don't grain, my head's already full. And I'm just going to take some secondary purple. And I'm just going to dump this in here. Notice that it's still wet and it's bleeding in and it's moving around a bit. Just, just for giggles. Just for variety. Right? We just don't want a straight up orange mountain. Okay? So is that pretty that's just cool? Yeah. So we've got some orange mountains? Mm -hmm. Really? You know, because I would have sworn that that's my sky. <laughs> <laughs> now if I ask you to negatively paint mountains, paint the sky and leave the mountains in there, oh tough. Right? But if I have you paint a positive shape. And then flip that. Now there's my mountains left behind. It's just perception. So wow. let's take that orange. And now, this is very, be very, very careful here. So I'm just going to pop in. And I want that swoop. I want those mountains to have that diagonal feel. Because they, they don't do this. They, I want them to have that sort of swoop into here. So I'm just going to take a little purple, I'm going to take a little bit of orange. And one of the things that you will probably end up doing is you'll have all of these little dots. And you're going to follow along. Try not to. Try not to. Swoop that down. So what we're doing is we're repeating the sky color back into the mountains, right? Harmonizing, locking it all together. Grace is already liking this one. All right, so let's keep it the same brush. Green. We're going to go green. Straight up, right out of the tube, green. Nice straight line. Flipping cats have been in my palette again. And meticulously fire in all of those treetops. Notice we have a tendency to only want to use the tip. Notice that I'm using the side. Nice light touch. One there, one over here. Oh, maybe just a few more, like so. Try not to get this coming right down the middle. Which set of trees, or which green mass, is closer to you? This one? Or this one? This one? How do you know? It's in front of the other one. How do you know? It's bigger size. 
and it's darker. lower. Yeah. As it gets lower, it gets closer to you. Oh. Right? So not as I could make this much bigger and much darker, but as it gets lower, it gets closer. So, but we need to have harmony. So we just take some orange. And maybe we'll just take a little purple. Because it really doesn't matter. We just make them a little bit darker. And in making those trees a little bit darker, my mountains become a whole lot lighter. Mm -hmm. Now, what color is water? Clear. Clear. Yours? It depends on what's reflecting. <laughs> yours? It, yeah, yours. <laughs> Good one. Right. Um, it is. It's entirely dependent. It's a reflective material. So it's dependent on the light from the sky. So looking at this, what color is my water? Orange. 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 Good answer, people. All right. So I'm going to switch brushes into, no, we'll use the same one. Okay, now, let's keep this fairly fluid. I'm not even remotely concerned about that orange line. I am hyper vigilant on those white shapes. The orange line looks after itself. It's that rhythm of my negatives. It's what I'm leaving behind. This river will look after itself. So, water is reflective. So wherever it passes underneath these tree type shapes, we need to make it darker. Man, she touched my coffee cup. <laughs> wow, and she's alive. Um, and so we're just going to play a little bit here. We're just going to take some clear water and we're just going to soften some of that just to kind of get rid of some of that pure white up into here. And I'm going to reach into my little bag of tricks here and look for something along the line of I have a gazillion of these things. What are they doing? Well, this one might work. This might be too small. These are some cheap, cheap maths and boards in here. Three colors. Repeated. Connected. Limited palette. Gives you harmony. Gives you unity. We have colors that is that is that not a winter mountain scene mm -hmm. now we think of skies being blue we think of mountains being white we think of trees being green to a certain extent we don't even think of water being orange but it's value plain change value changes white spaces makes this work 